Welcome to Flashback, the show where we recap what's been happening in the EU LCS. We're finally back for Summer Split, and we couldn't have kicked it off with anything better than the insane Patch 8.11, where nearly any champion can go any lane. We kicked off in style as Attila, formerly known as Mini Trupax, locked in a totally expected Heimerdinger when Vitality took on Splice. And of course, it was Heimer that got things rolling for Vitality. And even though Niski was taking the fight to Jizuke in the mid lane... All around wait, 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 wait. Ooh, stun in the mid. Go through. Uh, did, gonna flash over the disarm, though. Still the chase from Niski, and he takes him down. The early game pressure was too much for Splice, as Vitality cleanly took first blood of the 2018 Summer Split. If you thought the first game was wild, Giants Gaming and H2K said, hold my beer, in the second match of the day. It was slow to get started, but once it got uncorked, the action was fast and furious as the teams battled in tons of back and forth fights. After over 40 minutes of play, H2K thought they'd finally capped their comeback win with a huge team fight. But while they were busy fighting, Betsy snuck into their base to take the Nexus and a crazy victory for Giants. Oh my god, he's gonna do he's it! He's gonna do it! The game is going to enter KB Giants! Late game king, baby! Next up was Shalka Nilpia and their amazing new jungler facing off against the Unicorns of Love. The Unicorns broke out of the stables and galloped out to an early lead, thanks to proactive play from Cold and Exile. But it was Shalka's patience that paid off with a huge fight that flipped the script and netted them a Baron. After that, Nuke Duck and company were all business as they marched down mid to start the split off right. Then, it was G2 Esports looking to start strong against Rockat. If you blinked, you might have missed it, because it was all G2, all game, as they built up a 17k gold lead and cashed it in for a quick 23 minute win. Dude, Rocket just cannot do anything underneath their own tower. The engage coming in from Wonder, it's a triple. Looking for the Penta on the Mundo, can't quite get it, because Perk steals it away, the scumbag! We rounded out day one of the summer split with the match of the week between Misfits and reigning EULCS champs, Fnatic. After Fnatic locked in three supports, including Reckless on Janna, Hansama responded with his pocket Draven pick. Misfits had Fnatic's number once again, as Hansama put the pressure on from the start for a dominant victory that proved not even the Kings are untouchable. After that, the teams went home to regroup and strategize for Saturday. Day 2's action got started with Rockat and H2K both looking to put their first win of the split on the board. But it looked like only Rockat showed up to the rift, as they shook H2K and easily grabbed the victory to bring their record to 1-1 on the weekend. And Memento blows him away! And it looks like H2K are gonna say goodnight on this game. Still having to flash away, Promise can come around the side, let's see if the flank, oh my goodness, Shook just got turned into dust! And so is the rest of H2K, the double kill going the way of Memento Selfie says, where the hell is my team? If you thought Rockat made quick work of H2K, then you were in for a treat when Misfits faced off against the Unicorns of Love. It was messy from the beginning, but Misfits came out on top in fight after fight, and after just 23 minutes, the Unicorns could only watch as Misfits crushed their base and took another dominant win. Take down Hotstama! That is a massive stopwatch! And what a turnaround! Triple kill from Maxlar! We had even more unique picks in our third match of the day between Giants Gaming and Vitality, including a Lux in the bottom lane from Attila. There was some resistance from Giants in the early going, but it was just a matter of time before Vitality's unique picks paid dividends as they took their lead all the way to the bank to secure a clean 2-0 start to their split. Death comes from below and Jack Troll picks up the kill. Fnatic looked to avoid starting their title defense off with a 0-2 start as they battled against Shalka Nilpia. Felt like deja vu as Shalka had all of the answers to Fnatic's gold funneling strat. But all it took was one rushed Baron for Fnatic to turn their fortunes around and set up caps to steal a win from Shalka. Fnatic were losing this game for 23 minutes! Kai'Sa is online and Fnatic destroy Shalka! Last but not least, it was G2 versus Splice to close out the opening weekend of the 2018 Summer Split. Unlike most of the games before it, the early game was closely fought. But after G2 took down a contested Baron, Perks' Kai'Sa came online and there was no stopping him from hunting down Splice, picking up a Quadra, and starting the G2 split off with a perfect 2-0 weekend. 
Perx goes forward before he's scattered by the weak, but there's simply not enough damage. It was Neek, a quadra kill for Perx to close out the game. And that's us for this week. Tune in again on Friday, June 22nd for more EULCS action. The games kick off at 6 p.m. CEST, but make sure to arrive 30 minutes early for our new pre-show Ready Check, where Shocks and the gang regularly prank Deficio and dish up some spicy EU banter. You won't want to miss it.